Good morning, guys. What's going on? It is the 18th of May. We're going to take a look real quick this morning at the SPY. Uh, bring up a couple points that I had mentioned in the past couple videos and yesterday. And then we're going to take a look over at Tesla. It's been a while. So welcome to the channel. If you have not yet become a subscriber, go ahead and consider doing so. Channel is growing nicely and enjoying the... Um, back and forth in the video comments. So we're taking a look this morning at the SPY. Yesterday was another nice up day. Looks like we were up eight bucks yesterday, 2%. Had that nice big move to the upside. Very nice to see, like I said, when market sentiment gets into the dumps down in this area. Um, it provides a very nice opportunity to get long the stock market and individual stocks. So we don't see that too often. Last time we saw that was two years ago and then in current times. So today is the third Wednesday of the month and there is a thing out there called WWW and it is known that the third Wednesday of the month prior to options expiration is known for heavy price manipulation. So if you noticed yesterday's action was quite choppy, let's check out the three minute chart on SPY. Let's see here. So I was looking at the futures yesterday. If you were looking at the, we'll go back to a daily chart. The, if you go to the S&P 500 futures, the ES, and look at the three-minute chart, you'll see choppy action in the trading day, in the three-minute chart. So perhaps that was the start of a choppy Wednesday. We ultimately closed quite a bit higher yesterday on the futures. Very, very nice to see. But keep your eyes open for some volatile moves today in the stock market can present a great, great buying opportunity. So what the guys do who control the markets up there on Wall Street is the third, the third Wednesday of the month prior to options expiration, they're commonly known for many years now to push the market lower. And sometimes in the same day, they will actually push the market higher. It is just known for price volatility and very, very wide price swings. So it's also known for when they push the price down, they pick up lots of inventory. And then that prior week is a mon or the following week, excuse me, is a monster week to the upside. They make a ton of money when they push the market down to push it up into an options expiration week. Keep your eyes on that. Today could be a wild day in the markets. Doesn't mean it's going to be, but it could be. And if it is, you know why. So that is SPY. It is moving higher. Like I said, if they push the market lower today, then you'll expect SPY to be lower just to watch it even move higher in the days and in the week and months ahead. So if you are not in SPY, Maybe today you'll have better pricing than yesterday. We will see what happens here. But so far, looking quite nice. Let's go check out some Tesla. What's going on with Tesla? Haven't looked at this thing for some time. From a... So it looks like the 200-day is still trending higher. That is nice to see. We are in a, basically this is one giant price consolidation. You can see that I mean, we have our high established and we actually put in a new low over here on the market bottom, which was the 12th of May. So basically anything within that range is noise, price consolidation, accumulation, distribution, basically a giant basing structure on the shorter 
Um, shorter view, we, we once we printed this lower high, pulled back another lower high, and then we really got heated up to the downside. So obviously undercutting this low was not a good thing, but what was a good thing is we undercut that low on the 12th and we closed up above that low. So that was a shakeout. And that is actually when the markets have bottomed, at least for now, so far. But sometimes you'll get that. I've mentioned that in other videos. Sometimes you'll get to a major high or a major low. And instead of closing below that below, below or above that price, so for this example, it would be a close below that price. Let me get, so like if we got a close below the low on the 24th of February, that would be a scary thing to see. Um, good for the bears, not so good for the bulls, but sometimes you'll actually get it trades below that price just to close the day up. So it's ultimately a shakeout. And then that's what happens. So within two days, so we traded down to like 680 and then that next day we hit a high of 780. So basically a hundred dollar move in two days. Right now we're sitting at 760. So that could be the bottom for Tesla for some time. Obviously, we will know moving forward. And this is good to see that we are above that low. So what to expect here? Well, if you didn't get long the markets on the 12th, which perhaps some people did, perhaps a lot of people didn't, what do we expect here for Tesla? Well, we have a high over in here on the, uh, let's see, that is the 4th of May. So that is still a lower high, lower high, lower high, and then this lower high. So we do expect Tesla to move higher along with the markets. Doesn't mean that'll be today or tomorrow, but basically we'll print up here another lower high at some point. Maybe it'll be today, maybe it'll be tomorrow. We'll get some kind of a pullback. And that is what you're looking for. That is what I'm looking for anyways. That higher low, that is a great area to accumulate Tesla or any stocks. And, um, and then you'll move higher and then you'll print a higher high. So it'll be higher than the, the that high and then the uptrend has the trend has changed back to the upside so why do i walk you through that scenario that may or may not play out well let's take a look back over here in march february printed a lower high right here for tesla traded down choppy another lower high put in a uh, lower low choppy the big shakeout move and then still rallied up to a lower high well, what came next? What came next was a higher low right in here. And that was a big, big opportunity to jump on the train of this stock. Because what happened next, basically we went from 758 all the way up to 1150. Massive, massive move. So you got to keep your eye on that lower, that higher low to get printed because that following move, massive to the upside. So let me clean up the chart. So right now, let's say this is the bottom for Tesla. We expect, obviously we got to rally higher. What we're looking for is that higher low to come in place somewhere around pretty much where we're trading at now. Could be a little lower, could be a little higher. And then what follows, could be something very similar to this move. So, I mean, we could have printed the higher low for Tesla right here on the 16th of May. I mean, this could be it. Time will tell. So if we get an, if we get a nice break above this high right here, then we'll have that confirmation that that was the low. So basically a high above the 13th of May and that high was 787. So if I zoom in a bit here, rally down, 
or move down, excuse me, rally up, pull back. This could be the higher low, even though that would be very fast. But these markets are very oversold. And then we start to get that move higher, breaking us above this high. So that could be the trend change right there, right there within a couple days. So keep your eye on that 13th of May high. But you could see what happens when we get that massive move to the downside, rally up, wedge down, print the higher low following move can be huge. Big move down, rally up, lower high, move down, potential higher low. The move to come could be huge. So keep your eye on that for Tesla. Of course, that might not happen, but happened over here. And I wanted to show you that it could be taking place once again over here. So could be a good place to get into some Tesla stock. Of course, not financial advice. You could wait until we get a much stronger move to the upside and then a pullback and you could get long on that pullback. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, you just got to figure out what works for you and study the charts and the charts will give you uh, the chart. The charts will tell you where the odds favor a long entry into Tesla. So let's say you got long Tesla on this higher low or when it broke the higher high up in here and you did quite well. Well, then it comes quickly to where do I take my profits? So. Um, that's a whole different game. We have a strategy for that and our models get us in and out. So basically we, you had a pullback here and a lower high and then a breakdown. So if you entered here on the higher high, would you exit here on the lower low, the break of that base? You would still make that nice spread of, let's see, 890 to... 970, 980, something like that. So you would still have made good money there on Tesla. But, and you see why locking in profits, depending on your investment style, of course, is important because we are much lower than that potential entry, even this entry down in here. So if you're entering Tesla somewhere within this range, whether you already entered or you're waiting for that break, that higher high or maybe a little bit more upside confirmation. Um, it's always good to keep in the back of your mind a place to lock in your profits. But like I said, markets are extremely oversold. Um, market sentiment tells us that, so we do expect higher prices across the board. Um, <clears throat> and today is uh, WWW, so we could see some wild price swings um, to the downside and back to the upside. Sometimes they'll close the market down a lot. And then tomorrow morning, you'll see the market up big once again. So that's pretty much my thoughts on Tesla. Um, looks like it bottomed with the stock market. Today could be a down day and then expect up days um, for the rest of the week and then into next week. So of course, could be wrong, but that is what I am looking for here. But like I said, it's a day by day thing here in the markets. Every day, the market tells you a little bit of a different story. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Tesla. Where are you looking to enter? Did you enter down in here in the, what did we hit a 685, I said? 680 was the low. Wow. Not too bad. If you were able to get into some Tesla shares down at that price, go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. Share this with your trader buddies. Greatly appreciate it. Links down in the video description. Currently have SPY and XRP trading signals posted over on Patreon. All right, guys, take care.